sports. Do you want to talk about chess? Yeah, so I have a follow up there. I don't know if you have one or or, or just what I put there. Um, go ahead. What what were you gonna say? So we talked about chess. The background is we talked about chess.com last episode. I tweeted about it because I was even more people interested love in that it. tweet, dude. That tweet had tons of engagement. Um, it was good. And the the summary of this is that I actually we underestimated it. So chess.com gets around 200 million monthly uniques. They have 60 million registered users. They uh, traffic has grown significantly. If I had a guess, they do at least 100 million in recurring revenue, subscription revenue, uh, potentially is worth a billion dollars. Super fascinating company. Um, Right. Go ahead. What were you going to say? So we about were it? trying to hype it, and we actually were under hyping, even even though we were trying to hype it. Um, and by the way, the guy who started is like a ex Stanford guy, or the guy who owns it uh, has two, I think, Stanford guys, uh, which is cool. Like you know, they didn't go the same track probably as ninety five percent of their classmates, and they're going to outperform ninety nine percent of them just by by doing something really simple that the world wanted. So I started thinking about this because we talked about it. You brought it up. Cool topic. Cool bit. Really cool business. It really fits the what we call the New Zealand type of business that Andrew Wilkinson kind of coined that that phrase, which is it's this independent thing. It has like a cult following. It's profitable. It's simple. It's not nobody competes with it. It's like New Zealand. Nobody's going to war with with chess.com. Uh, you know, the biggest competitor, I think it's called Lie Chess or something like that. It's basically like an open source free, you know, like kind of like alternative. And it's also doing extremely well. And those are like the two. Uh, but it seems like people kind of prefer chess.com. So I started thinking, okay, what's the next chess.com? What are the others? Is, is there a whole slew of these guys? Because I think that's where we didn't talk about last time that we should have. And so I wanted to double click in a little bit. So I started. And, and, and that was that's a really, really hard question. I've been right. thinking about it too. I only came up with like dominoes. I looked into solitaire websites. Right. They A lot of them crush. Uh, but yeah. yeah, that's a hard question to ask. So I, I only spent 10, 15 minutes on it, but that was enough to tell me something very interesting. So the first one that came to mind was, because here's the characteristics that you need. You need a game played by tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of people that is not owned by a brand. Chess works. Checkers also works, but the problem with checkers is it's so simple that it's not as like, uh, there's not as much depth to it, therefore not as much of a like kind of like uh, money to be made and passion around the, the sport. Uh, Sudoku was the second one that came to mind. So I went to sudoku.com and sudoku.com, it's just like chess.com. It's like you, you go to sudoku.com and there's already a Sudoku board waiting for you with the clock going and it's like, oh, play, here it is. You don't need to download, you don't need to sign up, you don't need to do anything, just play Sudoku. I love that. Then they, you scroll down a little bit and you see like this advertisement for like a mobile app, a mobile Sudoku app. So I click that. I'm like, I bet this app, I bet this is an amazing distribution for this app. App crushes. So this company called Easy Brain behind it. So the Sudoku app that they have has 50 million downloads the, uh, on just Google Play. <laughs> Forget about iPhone. That's just Google. That's just Android. Um, so probably 100 million total lifetime downloads. The website itself gets, you know, 10 to 20 million visitors a month. Uh, so they're getting free, tra- like basically free traffic to their mobile apps where they're able to monetize. And Easy Brain basically makes, they're like a mobile app developer that makes these apps. They've had over 750 million downloads lifetime of these little simple number game apps, starting with Sudoku, then like a remix of Sudoku, then like another number game if you like that one. And they just cross promote them within each other. I bet this company is crushing it. They're based in Europe, I it have- looks like. I have information on on, on yeah. them. I just found some interesting stuff. When I Googled them and went to the website, there was something amazing about them that immediately stuck out. And, and, and just this quick Google, it, I'm wrong, but it is based in Cyprus. Anytime a company is based in <laughs> Cyprus, it, it's like, it out, turns out these guys actually are... Uh, from like the Belarus. They're right. actually from this area, but they're based in Cyprus. So I'll, I just Googled it real quick. So uh, do you know that it was they were acquired um, three months ago? No, I did not know this. So that's the, okay, that's I have, the other piece. I have their revenues, I have their profit, and I have the uh, all their user numbers, and I okay, have... Can uh, I guess? How much they, and yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm going to be totally so, wrong, but I'm, I, I like to guess. By the way, little tip. Always guess before you hear any number. That's how you get good at knowing numbers because you guess and then when you're wrong, your brain remembers that shit and you you start to hone that gut instinct. Okay, so here's here's my guess. I'm going to Okay, guess, well, uh how much were they what was what's their revenue? I'm going to guess that their revenue was 400 million dollars a year. Okay. What's their um profit? 90 million dollars a year. Pretty good. Um all right, how much were they acquired for? 
I'm going to guess that they were acquired for $852 million. Okay. And how many, um, how many daily active users do they have across their 15 games? I'm going to say they have 25 million DAU. Okay, so you did didn't do? do you didn't do horrible. Okay, so Easy Brain was acquired uh, last this most recent February. Uh, they were uh, acquired for six hundred and forty million dollars in stock and up to one hundred and twenty five million dollars of additional consideration if they hit it. So six forty. Yeah, what is that? That isn't that exactly eight fifty. No, what's six? Uh, what six forty plus a hundred is seven forty plus twenty five is seven sixty five. Seven sixty five. So right. you, great job! You guessed <laughs> eight fifty. Great job! You're almost there. Um, they their revenue is uh in 2020 revenues were two hundred and ten million dollars. Okay, so, so you were off there by half. You guessed four hundred million, but their profit was seventy million. You guessed ninety. Right. Pretty good. Um, they've had 750 installs over the course of their the lifetime of all their all their things, all their uh, games. They have uh, 15 live games with 12 million daily active users. You guessed 25, 25. million. Okay, not right. bad, not bad. Um, what a company! So okay, so that was the first one I thought of. And by the way, I think that there's other versions of that. Like you know, I don't know. Go look at like you know SudokuOnline.com. I don't know. What's that? Like, you know, like all the things people are going to Google search, if you can get the top level domain for those, that's really interesting. Um, so then I started looking at some others. Poker.com. So I went to poker.com and poker.com is like kind of like this crappy, like just describe what you're looking at when you go to it. Let me look at this. But you can't, this is an actual poker, right? This, uh, you're not betting? It's not even a, you can't play there. It's just like, reviews here's a, it's like an affiliate site so it's like oh here's a place to play poker here's where you can go because they get big kickbacks for basically sending a, a player to poker stars or wherever if they deposit and so this, this is horrible what horrible is it? website um crappy kind of like affiliate and reviews site dude you could do so much more with this website like if somebody was like dude i'm gonna i have a if you have a mobile poker app that's like good i would pay like ungodly amounts of money for poker.com i think that that's a and they also if you like do their traffic search see what they get it's nothing so they should be getting a lot more traffic having poker.com um okay so then there's some other ones crosswordpuzzle.com crossword.com the, the go to those like they don't even like crossword.com or something doesn't even like render it's like a there's like five Doesn't asterisks work. on the screen yeah like what's going on here because crossword is the other game that's like sudoku it's like chess that people played religiously and they love we talked about how how much the new york times makes off their mini crossword game and i, I think the believe. guests the number was uh 90 million dollars in subscription revenue from crossword puzzles for the new york times right. so so i am surprised that crossword puzzle crosswordpuzzles.com crossword.com i can't believe that these sites are not being like leveraged so i was very surprised to see this and uh yeah that so was my look at this. follow up from this so you go to crosswordpuzzle.com it says, please email suggestions to dkw999 at yahoo.com. Right. So I, um, I emailed the guy. So, 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 so you see this, the website is basically like a white page with a bunch of text. And it's basically just the very to bottom things. The very bottom, it says, this don't no, this domain is not for sale. Please do not inquire about purchasing it. All emails from anonymous or unknown companies asking me a price will be ignored. Sorry. Last right. updated July 2007. Second. Right. So I emailed this guy and I was like, Hey, uh, saw your w website. Um, like, I think it's awesome that you're not trying to sell this, but I'm curious, like, why aren't you trying to sell this? And, uh, what's your, you know, what do you want this to be? Why do you believe, like, why do you believe that it should be done this way? I, you know, I'm just super curious, like, what's your thought process? So we'll see if he replies. There's another website that's like this. And Bray, you see if you could find the name of this. I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but Sam, you might know this. There is a website that's like, it's like a misspelling of google.com or gmail.com. I think it might be gmail.com or something like that. And it's the same thing. It's an all white web page that's like, yeah, Frank and Susan, you know, we were married in 1977 and like blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, if we are not going to put ads on the site, no, we did not. We owned this before Gmail came out. It's like they basically just have this web page that gets like, and they have a counter of how much traffic they get. Uh, and they just show that they're getting like hundreds of thousands of hits a day and like, He's like, refuses to monetize it, refuses to sell it. I think it's hilarious. What? 
<laughs> what is this? What uh, Brady? Do you find it? Brady, try to find it. I'll find it after the pod. Otherwise, I, I have this in my like things to tweet about. Uh, you know, folder. That's actually such a funny idea. Uh, so, like, if if we just looked at the most visited website and find out what the typos are for each one, and go and look at what those are. So, like, right. if you go to goggle.com, so G O G L E, Google owns it, so it right. redirects to Mo- Google. Most of the time, the, the company owns like their plurals and their misspells, but sometimes they don't, and then so- <laughs> those are hilarious. Oh my gosh! I just uh, I was looking at Bing. I changed it to Bang. Don't go there. <laughs> Found something else. <laughs> yeah, don't go there. Um, what else is there? That's like a what? What's a like a like a YouTube spelled wrong? Like, like you can do like Facebook, uh, but you could do like I don't know, like you you lose the A or something like that. I don't know. See what see what that is. God, that's so interesting. Um, that that's actually an interesting thing. Facebook owns Facebook with one O. Pretty interesting. That's actually an interesting thing. I'm going to research that after this. Of uh, by the I'm way, gonna... I don't know if you know the guy who owns Bitcoin.com. So this is a guy, Roger Van Der or whatever. I don't know what his name is, but he's like kind of hated in the Bitcoin community by like 80% of the people because he tried to create his own fork of Bitcoin. So they forked Bitcoin. I think it's Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Satoshi's Vision BSV. I forgot which one he's associated with. I think it's Bitcoin Cash. But basically... He created, you know, they forked Bitcoin and they have their own, but this guy owns Bitcoin.com. And, uh, and so he's like a billionaire guy from Bitcoin and like, he refuses to give up Bitcoin.com, but it's like, it's like points to the other version of the not popular version of Bitcoin. You know, it's like the, the, the fifth Jonas brother who's not in the band or whatever, you know, it's it's basically like, it's it's, it's kind of a waste and nobody can sue him because it's, there's no company behind Bitcoin and nobody owns the trademark. Oh, uh, that's a pain in the ass. I hate <laughs> that. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Um, 